Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now, <laughs> this morning, this, this morning, I'm in Australia and I'm having a good day, it's a bit chilly. Um, I'm going to show you, <laughs> I'm going to show you some of my UFOs. <laughs> and I say some because I'm sure these are only some of them, there's more lots, there's more and stuff. Anyway, and then I'm going to work on, um, uh, in the next a little while over the next weeks or months or whatever I'm going to work on one or two of them each time you know to try and get something done finished so I did this I've done this bit here on this one that I've done the embroidery around and I've added some sequins and some beads and I'm really I'm really liking that I really like that but I do plan to start a different one <laughs> because I have this material here that I really really like and I thought I'd have a try using a bit of this but on this I'm only going to put beads I don't know if I'm going to do embroidery we'll see okay so I'm going to get a piece of that I do really like this and I was going to try and use this one but the piece that I would like to have in the hoop is sort of on the edge the pieces are on the edge a bit so I could probably just do a small hoop with it I wish I could find some more of that but anyway so there that's that plan, so I'm still planning on more of that when I get that bit done. This is the one that I'm going to do some work on today, that I'm still, that I'm, the last one that I started. So I really like that. This is the one that I worked on in the last video that I put up, I think. And I really like that, and I've fixed my butterfly. I don't know if I showed you me doing that, and I added this little flower thing there on the end. I've put a lot more work in these beads and that. I've still got a really lot to go on that, but I really, really like it. It's pretty. Okay, so there's that one. Then I have this one here where I did do a lot more beads and embroidery following the pattern of the picture behind it. You know, these leaves, so I did. And then I put all those little flowers on that bit there, and I've got a fair bit to go on that too, but I still, I still will do it because I do like it. So there's that one. Now, somebody asked me when I was going to come back and do more on this. Well, I looked at it the other day because I, th I thought I didn't like it, but I had another look at it the other day and I thought, gee, that doesn't look too bad what I've done so far, these bits here that I've not done. So let's not, let's not give up the ghost. We'll keep going on that, eh? We'll keep going on it. Yep. Then we have this one here that is nearly finished. Nearly finished, not quite, but nearly finished. And I really love it. It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? That one. Then we go back in the <laughs> back to last year or the year before when I was doing these pieces to put in the show, but I decided not to because it was too much work. And I love these; they're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? I do love the the um, fabrics and the the beading and the stitches and all that sort of thing. This one here is close to being finished. Well, you know, maybe not, but yeah. So there's that one. Then I have this one here, and it's got lots of bits and pieces on it and I'm really liking how I'm going with that too adding different elements like the laces and that to it and seeing how that's going so that's nice there's another one he's not very far along is he and that's okay and I think this is where the cat spilt the coffee and it went on my work and I'll have to put a little clean that up there but that bit there should be in the side seam so cat wasn't very popular but you know he's still alive so. <laughs> anyway um there's fluff and that everywhere yeah he jumped up on there and knocked the coffee cup down so i love this here these bits there's pieces of fluff and that everywhere right then there was these ones you remember these this is a way back and i really love this sort of work i'm really itching to get back into doing this as well so Maybe each week I'll work on a different piece until I get them done. What do you reckon? I should do a bit of, on everything until I get it done because I, I do love working with the wool and, and felt and that. I do love this. This is absolutely beautiful. love that. Okay. Right, don't lose that. Then there's this one here. Now, I just picked these up from sitting... They were sitting here beside me, a lot of them, or close by, but I know I have more smaller ones that I still haven't done anything with yet. So this I started out with a small piece, I think, and then I ended up joining this together because I'm making it bigger, and I really like it. I don't know which way it really goes, probably that way. Be a bag one day. I had that part done, and I wanted to add this on, so that's what we're doing. We're trying to put it on without it looking like it's been put on after, 
okay so that's that bit and then there's of course this <laughs> this is my um, satchel thing that I'm making for the <laughs> and I will get there because I'm getting close I'm getting close I've got to put it together I think I'll put it together and see then what else it'll like on it okay see what else I'd like to put on it so that's that one so there's uh, they don't fit in this actual thing really they just don't fit there's what I've been doing over the last while with besides doing a bit of journal making and stuff like that over the last 12 months or so um, plus I've got the ones that I'm going to put in the show and they're down here somewhere underneath this stuff I've got it in the bag it's there don't really panic it's still there so today I'm working on that other piece this is not going to work so I don't know why I'm doing it wait a minute there's a needle cord in there and that's not good on you okay so I've got that in there to put it where I do not know where did I get it from <laughs> Oh dear. And I'm putting a I'm gonna get some things put together and finished, hopefully. The table is covered with stuff that I was using to make this out of. And I still have got it on the table because you know I might need a bit more sometime, you know, whatever I'm gonna put on here. Now I was doing these little flowers. But I can do them when it, you know, when I'm doing it on my own when I'm not, you know. So I just wanted to show you some, I don't know, do some stitching, do add a bit of something, this or that, you know, put a bit of braid or something on. I did buy some braids the other day, but I don't think I didn't get them. She didn't put them in the packet, so I've got to go back and pick them up. She rang and told Jeremy because I hadn't been at got home by the time she discovered that she didn't put them in my bag, and I don't know if I've got anything suitable actually to put on that today from there so I just have a, a look I want to stick with the gold colors and the uh, that's yeah, that's gonna work we'll have to see what what will work hey eh? and I found a real lot of of the fancy sort of fabrics that I was looking for to do more of these with because I just went through this great big box that was in here and I, I fished it all out so there'll probably be another one of these coming along later I don't know if that's going to look any good on here is it might be too not flash enough or uh, I don't know probably not we'll see Actually, there's not much on there, so I'll just take that off. Put that in the bin. Sticky tape. I suppose it stops it from fraying a bit. I wind it up from the other end, eh? I don't know. So now... There's another piece to add to the table. This one here is nice. This is some, oh, look at that, it's nearly the same thing. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if it's. It looks goldish looking, doesn't it? It looks pretty goldish like. Yeah. I like to do more stitching. Because I do like the stitching. And purple. Wow, <laughs> maybe that might be a little bit too purple. <laughs> it's too purple, Sonia. How about we try a bit of this now? We've had a bit of test driving a lot of them. Oh, that one, how about that one? I like that. That looks really good. Now we're going to have some fun trying to find some buttons, I imagine, to put in this as well. I'm going to cut that there because I think I can. I think I can just cut it a little bit over so I've got that ready to to use now I need to put some different color cotton in this I think in my needle 
And fasten this one here, that's the wrong way, is it? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I want to use gold thread. I reckon if I use this one here, it'll still... I might use this yellow one. Yeah, I'll use that. See, I'm not using much of it, so it's okay. I don't know if I... I've got to get to doing some stuff on the machine. Now that it's getting cold too here a bit, so it's, it's all right though. We always keep our house warm, so it's good to be inside. In the warm. Now, maybe you should cut that a bit different. Make it straight, Sonia. I'm just going to be careful now. I'm not going to cut off too much, so I'll still have the... It'll still go right to the end if I cut that straight up there like that. And put that against the side, like so. I might bring that camera down a bit. You can see there's all the stuff on the table. And there's some stuff on the table. Oops, move it over. I think I'll have to get it rid of that pin. It's really upsetting me there. I oh, know, so I'm going to put this... I'm going to just go down the middle with this, I think. It fastens on here. How did I do this? <laughs> Real easy, son, you do these things. You do. Do the time's going quick. The days are going so fast. It doesn't seem like there's enough time to do everything. I think I'm lucky that I get to do all this, these hours in here, but it <laughs> still seems to go really quick. I've been in here for an hour this morning already, but I've been looking for stuff, searching for, for what I might like to use, and therefore I've got more stuff around me than anybody's <laughs> ever seen. It's incredible. Make sure that I'm keeping it right on in between the two of them, the two pieces of fabric. I'll go across it later and do another stitch on it or add some beads to it. Oh, I had to go on. <laughs> I needed a couple of things, right? I needed some more storage things. And when I went to Team Moo, it told me I had to spend, well, I had to spend, well, I should had to spend, to get free postage, they needed me to spend $45. And now for about a week or more, I've been, you know, thinking, I don't want to do that. I don't think I'd better do that. And then yesterday I thought, I'm doing this. <laughs> so I got myself some more beads because I need more beads. I really do. I've got I've got a lot of beads, but I have a... I needed different sizes and different sort of textures and things. Because I want to put them, I'm going to do some 3D things. It's all in the plan one day, okay? So you'll see it one day eventually, I hope, what I'm doing with them, all of them. But I'll show them to you when the parcel gets here. Oh, well, I'll, hubby told me to go and buy the things because it's my birthday soon, see? I'm going to be another, another year. And he said, go and buy some stuff. So actually, I do want to treat still need to get myself a stand that I can put my hoop onto <coughs> so I can bead because if you've got a stand then you can put your hoop and your fabric into that and, and then you've got two hands to to work with you know, hanging on to hanging on to it so I want one of those I found a few different different places I bought myself one and Jeremy was going to adjust it but I need something that's got a the one that he's doing has got a hoop, hoop in it. The other one that I want to get has got a clamp thing over it so you put your hoop in there and it clips on and then you can put 
any size in it and that so I'm going to do that find myself one of those I went and looked on the uh, I looked at the Fox collection one here that's in Australia and I think the one that had only had a square it only had a square um, frame in it so probably wasn't quite right for me what I'm after so I'm just going to have to keep peeping about till I find something that's right okay that looks really good doesn't it now I'll end that off there because I I'm going to put a different colour over the top of that I'm trying to get all these all these edges done I don't know I've got an extra piece of string over here or thread and that's about I must have put something there and then I took it off that's not good it's okay I'll fix that this looks nice it's all looking good so far okay so now I'm gonna I'll have to have a mouthful of water I don't know why I got a bit of a sore throat that doesn't impress me maybe having the heater on might do that of a night time I don't know it makes your throat a bit dry keep it warm now I'm gonna get some of these beads oh right I bought some more of those I didn't know that I had I forgot I had them oh that's a shame when you forget <laughs> I forgot I had those where'd I put them okay over here this one it must be in this one Oh, look at that. Well, never mind. I've got two more different ones. How's that? Because I needed these. I definitely did. I just done. I didn't know I had some the same colour already. Well, I won't have to worry about too many places to put them, will I then? I've got them already in here. I've got some in here. I'm, I've got that there, there too, that's different. And they're only acrylic, and that doesn't matter to me. Some people don't like to use different. Oh, they're in another bag. I forget about that. They started putting them in two little bags. Um, I'll still use these because they still look really good. They still look good. They have probably a little bit of a powdery powder on them. I don't know. That's not too bad. I'll put these orange ones in with the orange ones. And I'll put these two lots in something else after. Might have to use me being on a string too sometime. I'll put some of that on this one today, eh? That I'm doing. All these metallic ones are beautiful. I love them, but they all went in all different places one day when I dropped the thing. And they, they've all gone in all different packets. So I would like to get them out of there because they're really hard to get out of this one. I bought <laughs> some. I thought, oh gee, these are good. I bought this other day. <laughs> now I've got some, but that's, now I've got enough. <clears throat> Maybe. So here, oh, there's little little pieces in there too. Um, little beads and that in here as well. I was going to put this. This is nice, isn't it? We could sew some of this on. A bit of bling gold or green we've got both I'm going to move all that into there and put these beads in this box I am, that's what I'm doing now I'll put these in here too and then I'll know where they are will I? well maybe I didn't even know I had the others so, it's a beautiful colour I would not be able to afford to do the stuff I do if I had to buy, pay for the really expensive beads. I do buy a lot of um, good ones 
and you know and repurpose from out necklaces and things. And I do buy all the little um, seed beads of glass, but I couldn't afford to do that with everything I get because it cost me too much money and I couldn't afford to sew them. <laughs> couldn't afford to do anything with them. Now, do I want this or the green on here? I need a bit of this. Don't know yet. I might have to have a look into that. Okay. So that's what I was after. That some, was that what I was looking for? I don't know. I was looking in here for something. I've lost the, I've lost the plot now. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I've seen them. That's why I got them, because I was looking for this other puppy. <laughs> Look, it's occurred to me now what I'm doing. I've, I've woke up finally. I want these. Okay. I'm sorry, but you'll be... <laughs> it's behind the camera. What am I doing? Okay, so I'm going to make some of these flowers, I think. And I've got a lot of charms in this one too, so I can put them on. Look at the colour of these. These are awesome, aren't they? Look. I'm going to put these. All the same colour, I do. But these are these are variety ones. It's a mixture of all different colours. This green's nice. Don't know if I'm going to put the pink on. Remember, we're trying to stick with the the plan. Trying to stick with the plan. Gold. So I knew they're the wrong thing. They're silver. Okay. Right. Hmm. We're not getting very far here today, am I? As long as we get a bit done, I suppose. And I put that on, so. I need more than one bead. <laughs> Might do a bit of um, put a bit of ribbon on here. Uh -huh. It's all right. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to think a minute. I won't be long. I'll do this. I'll do along here first, and then I'll because it's. When it's been ironed, it hasn't sat down very nicely. So I'll do along here, but I'll need to do that in a bit bit thicker thread. I'll do a um, feather stitch down there, but I want a bit thicker thread than what I've got. Um, no, that's not right. Where is it? Thin. I think that's too thin. I think I've got some. I think the lady had some really nice. Um, I've been thinking about this. I've got some really nice ribbon that place when I was at can assist when I was there the other day. She had some really nice ribbon. I'm going to go back and get a bit. I am going to go back and get some really. It was a nice green like that. It was just a thing for this piece. This is nice, and pretty colour. Now if I do a really nice um, feather stitch down here, it'll be a nice vine for something. I'm going to try and take it over a couple of... I want to go th three. Three bits. Whoops, oh, I think it's getting caught, this. Maybe two is enough because this has got to be stitched down a bit better. So let's go back across here and take it two this way.
used to be, I was always saying that, you know, that I don't sew very good with a machine. I know, I don't know if you've heard me say <laughs> And then I thought the other day, dear, I'm, I'm, it's probably because I stopped doing sewing for people because it was too stressful for me. I found it very stressful. But I can sew <laughs> because I, I was thinking about the things that I'd made <laughs> for people and stuff that I'd had to do over the years, and of course I can so <laughs> with the machine. I made the little, three little beautiful little, they call it, well, they were bridesmaids for the ball, these little girls. Oh, she they, gee, they were good. And <laughs> I don't know what happened to me, why I think that I couldn't sew. I, I guess um, because I didn't want to do any more for anybody, anybody else, I just decided that I wasn't going to sew on the machine anymore and decided I couldn't do it, you know, and I, did, I looked at it the wrong way because now I feel like I really need to get in and do a bit because I want to do Margot's little clothes and then, you know, I hope she doesn't be screaming, Mum, I don't want to wear that nanny dress. <laughs> it's just I'll wait until she's old enough and tell me what she wants, I think. Anyway, that looks really good. So I can actually use the machine. Um, I've been watching the... Great Britain thing by the British Song B, and it's been really interesting to me. That, you know what their things they're making and doing. I actually, and then I did. See, I've got a new machine. I bought myself a half size mannequin because I wanted to make clothes for it because I, I really like this sort of thing, and I was making it, going to make them out of sort of these sort of fabrics to make like, uh, what would you cut? What am I trying to say? Um, things that they wore back in the, you know, the Gilded Age or whatever, you know, them, them, them sort of clothes. Not necessarily to put on anybody, but just to make it just for the for the fun of it and for the interest. And so I've been really engrossed in watching the sound. But I watched the first few, a fair few seasons to start with, about five years not long ago. And now they've, I've come back on, I'm up to the last one now, I'm not happy. I'd have liked to have a bit more, but anyway, I can really watch them, I suppose, if I want to. So this one here's kicking up a bit too. Now, because it's what it is, this satin, it always puckers a bit, but we're going to try not to have it doing that too bad, I hope. I'm going to make that too bad. Okay, now I'm going to put some... What did I say I was going to do after I fixed that? I was going to do some sewing on it, wasn't I? Ribbed embroidery. Mm-hmm. We we'll use these. I'll have to do something in there with, with the ribbon, I reckon, and in that one. I'm going to sew that too. We better get it, we better get all the corner, all these bits done so it's all nice and flat, eh? Okay, so I need something that'll go on there. I might use this. I might use a bit of this. I mean, I know it's purple and purple, but I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters, you'll still be able to see it. i cut that off. And this is this really nice stuff I bought from, brand new from Kansas. Madeira, it's Madeira. And they, well, I used to buy it in Hanks once, so they've got them on uh, um, Visco filament, it's 100%. Um, they must be just putting them on reels now, because I'm sure I bought them on, on Hanks when it, oh dear, this is not going to be good. <laughs> Try again. No, wrong sort of needle for that. Let's get another needle. I did have me good needles are in that little pin thing somewhere, sitting here next to me. I don't know. Oh, look, I've got purple just there. That doesn't matter. You have as much as you like. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just better go over here now with this. <laughs> Do put it on this bit. I'll put it on this bit somewhere. Because I don't think I, I want to put it too close to that. I'll try and keep this as flat as I can. I wonder if this will fit along here. It might do. So I'm going to do an in, another one over the the inside of this, I'm going to do another Cretan stitch on the inside of this one or the outside, whichever, however it ends up. And I'm sorry about this, I'm going to move them. 
Okay, so we're going to go over to the... Come up there. And I'm going to go over to the right of this. No, I'm not. I'm going to go this side of it. I'm going to go this side of it. And I'm going to put that like so. And then I'll go to the inside leg here. That. And then go up there to the inside leg. There. And here. I'm calling it a leg because. <laughs> seems a bit um, sort of coming apart like it's not too bad though you know it's a frilly let me see that bit in a bit look what he's doing I don't want it to go too frilly on me it's a shame when things do this I imagine that might be on that I don't think you could put this on the sewing machine because it wouldn't be able to... You can put it in the bottom of the bobbin. You can put anything in the bottom one, in the bobbin. <laughs> well, you can put stranded thread or... Well, I wouldn't put crochet thread in the bottom of the bobbin or stranded thread. You could... People have been doing that now for a while, putting the other uh, cottons in it. <clears throat> Besides the ones that they're... You know, the plain sewing thread. because they're making all sorts of different threads in that now to, to use. So in the next video, I probably will work on one of the other pieces for, for an hour or so. How about that? Or whatever. I won't put it up for that long, I don't think. And that way, we might see a bit more work, a bit of different things. Maybe I'll get something done. <laughs> Maybe I'll refrain from starting something new. I'm going to have to go through to the back now. And I'm just going to go straight down there through the back because when I come back up, I'm going to be coming up at the... I'll show you anyway how to get back through there. Oh, dear. Now, I don't have anywhere I can put this underneath, do I? I might have to thread that up and put it through. It won't take much to thread it. I usually make me not... Well, I make me not with the crochet hook because I can do it quicker but this is not bad this will thread easy enough we <laughs> come on well that's nice you've got it caught in your hands I'm pulling it through and making it all mucky I'll be right it won't go anywhere, I hope. There you go. Does the other side look okay? Yep, it's alright. Now get a bit more. I didn't realise when I took it off there what I was going to do with it. I do like these things around the edge. You can put your thread in so it doesn't unravel everywhere. I've unravelling all through this house. <laughs> Now, I'm going to come, so I went down in there, so I'm going to come up a bit above that stitch and this side. Wait a minute, no, you're not, you're not doing that, Sonia. What are you done now? You have to cut this bit off. Because you've... Make it not again. Go through... Right, now we go up here. I don't know if this is too too much the one bit. I don't think so. Not too much sewing on this. All the same bit across here. I don't think so. I think it'll be nice. We're going to put lots of other things on it as well, so... I just don't know what they're going to be just yet, but we'll figure it out. Now I'm going to have to go back, go down and come back up because there's no way I can put that needle back through there. It's too thick. 
come back up near the side of that little leg. Up a bit higher, so now. Okay. And thread this again. Got enough here now for too, too many. I've got lots of thread on here now. <laughs> and it's playing games with me. Stop it. Okay, nope. Anyway, I'd better go. I'm getting carried away now. I'm going to better go. And I'll come back on here. So that goes over there. Might have time just to finish it. I'll have to thank everybody for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't cost you anything. Thank you so much for the people who have donated to my channel. I really appreciate you. Thank you very, very much for that. Um, it's really nice, you know. You, I get really excited. <laughs> yeah, it's really good to just enjoy my teaching and, well, when I'm not teaching, I'm practicing. <laughs> and you enjoy w watching me, so I'm really, really pleased about that. Thumbs up is good. It helps me. If you put a thumbs up, that's really good. My videos will go up closer to the top of when people type things in, you know. Um... I've got a lot of videos up there and I hope you, you'll find me and you can go and watch lots of different things that I've made. Take a while, I think, just for you to catch up with all the stuff I've done. But anyway, I'm going to have to... Well, I'll venture out away from this a bit one time. Maybe. See, I'm, There's lots of things that you can still do with this. Lots of, oh, lots of things I can still do. I'm looking forward to putting a bit more ribbon embroidery on this, so I'll come back in a minute on the next day, or whatever, next week, <laughs> sometime, and do a bit of ribbon work on it. So thank you for watching again, and we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.